there's two major food that are evident base to help with labor and that is date and red raspberry leaf but today our topic is date i'm going to show you how to make the drink it is good for pregnancy it is good for labor prep and it's also excellent for postpartum and this is no other drink but nabi's if you don't know nabi's drink yet keep watching nabi's drink is one of the favorite drinks of the prophet it's very very easy very simple with simple ingredients with ingredients that you already might have in your pantry or in your kitchen so first i have my jar over here i'm gonna add some dates the date is supposed to be six dates going by the science i am using module date module date is kind of thick big and very juicy date it's very soft so i'm gonna use that but if you don't have module date any date at all is good you can use any date that your date whatever adro date it's even better because adro date is a sunnah if you are a muslim adro date is excellent it has a lot a lot of added benefits six dates or seven dates seven dates is going to be the sunnah so i'm going to use seven dates um because the odd numbers so i will take the pit out i usually will use the pit because the pit has also some added benefits when it soaks in the water but just for demonstration purposes i'm not going to use the pit so i'm going to add it in my jar my husband also loves it he he does not eat um use sugar so this is the date that he uses to drink his tea um and any other beverage in the morning okay so i put one two three four five so i have two more to add because i'm going according to the sunnah to use seven um even though this are huge huge date but i'm gonna use seven you can use three because the research also tells us that if it is like the the module date is too big you use three eat it every day at the last stage of your pregnancy and also using the red raspberry leaf tea so i have seven module dates over here i remove the peat and i put it in the jar so i'm gonna add some water okay so just top it with water okay i'm gonna add some more water because we are using it during pregnancy one of the key nutrients that you need when you are pregnant as well is salt salt is very helpful in building your blood keeping you hydrated it's highly mineralized you need a lot of minerals when you are pregnant that helps to hydrate your cells drinking a lot of water is going to just go through your system and then come out without it being hydrating to your body so that's why when you are pregnant they tell you to drink a lot of hydrating liquids and also eat a lot of hydrating fruits and soups so adding a little bit of salt is helpful and salt is also a sunnah food because Rasulullah added salt in his food to make it taste good okay he loves good stuff and it is really recommended in Islam to love good stuff okay because Allah is good and he likes good stuff <laughs> right so I'm going to add the salt and using salt as well not just any table salt you make sure that you are using iodized salt especially if you have like a low iodine levels if you ask your doctor you might know that your iodine is low or not because iodine is also a key ingredient when you are pregnant or when you are trying to be pregnant very very key so i'm going to add salt in here when you have Himalayan salt or Celtic salt, that is even a plus because those are also highly mineralized salt that help to add some key essential minerals into your meals or your drinks. So I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of salt in here to give us a kick in the sugar 
because the combination of sugar and salt makes it even more beautiful. Adding zum zum is helpful if you have it. Adding black seed, the seed actually itself is helpful if you have it. But if you don't, this is what the traditional way of making this drink is just water and dates, seven agua dates. I'm gonna just give it a stir. So I will leave it to soak for at least four to eight hours. I will not leave it to soak overnight because I don't want it to ferment. As it sits longer out in the room, in room temperature, it's gonna ferment and fermentation will cause alcohol to generate. So you don't want alcohol to generate in this drink because alcohol, obviously, we know in Islam, we are not supposed to consume alcohol. And also, especially when you are pregnant, you don't want any alcohol going into your system because alcohol crosses the placenta to the baby. We don't want that, okay? So this is what you're gonna do, as simple as that and after that you're gonna just take a strainer a strainer like this or any strainer that you have and strain it that's it you gonna get this drink very tasty very very nutritious it has a lot of minerals in this instead of going for the sodas and the sugar laden drinks why not make this even if you are not pregnant this is excellent Rasulullah did not recommend this for pregnancy it's because of my, my way of um like okay a lot of people cannot really consume seven dates a day every day every day but when you make this it's easy to chug on this on this drink and drink it and then also use the leftover date that you're gonna get after you strain it use it to make smoothie so you can put it in your smoothie and you blend it and nobody's gonna know you yourself you will know that there's date in it only that is gonna give you some added sweetness to your smoothie and also you can use it to make muffins just mash it up and add it to your muffins or pancakes and give it to your kids give it to yourself because date is very very helpful i hope this information is beneficial and it's helpful for you or anybody you know will benefit from this so if you have somebody who is pregnant or even you if you are not pregnant or you don't have anybody who is pregnant just shoot this video to a whole bunch of the groups that you belong to so other people can benefit from it as well and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet until i see you next time please take care of yourself be in the best of health and iman assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh